I'd like to talk for a minute or two about a choice that every artist needs to make at some point in their career. Um, in my own case, I'm talking about the context of making YouTube videos, but this could apply if you're a writer, a painter, graphic designer, uh, you know, a musician, of course. The list goes on. The choice is this. The choice between what you most want to do and the choice between what you know will get the most attention, money, notoriety, fame, if you're after those things. You know, there's this, you know, on your shoulder over here, there's this voice. You see what's working for other people. If you're at a point in your career where you've developed skills in writing and making videos and making music, you, you have the skills, you, you see people doing things and getting all this attention and you think I could do that but there's this other voice this this shoulder over here you know the angel or the devil I'll let you decide which is which but on this side you have this other voice which is sometimes a much quieter voice and sometimes if you don't listen to that voice it could disappear because this voice is telling you something that might not make sense to other people you know, the mainstream interest on this side could think this voice is silly or this voice is strange or this voice, that's not how you do things. Everyone is succeeding with three minute pop songs and you want to have some 18 minute epic song with a huge instrumental in the middle and a guitar solo and everyone's like, no, we don't do those anymore. But that's what you feel in your heart is the right thing to do. Do you have, I was going to say, do you have the courage to follow that voice? But I hesitated because I'm not sure courage is the right word. On one level, it is. It obviously takes a lot of courage to be unique to yourself and to follow your vision. But now that I'm several years into making a career on YouTube, I've realized that it actually takes a lot of courage to... To, to, to feed this side of you as well. To not get too lost in your own self-indulgent vision and to actually think about what other people might want as well. That is a type of courage in, how can I put it? You're taking the courage to actually be seen and noticed. Because, yeah, this is a big thing with writers and, you know, I'm sure there's filmmakers doing this too, but especially with writers, people, People spend 10 years working on this book, writing away in silence, hold up in their bedroom or their office or whatever, and they say to themselves, nobody else understands my genius. Nobody else understands this. If only, if only other people were smarter, they'd understand it. But maybe some of those people are actually afraid of feedback. Maybe some of those people are afraid that uh, maybe other people are actually smart and if they read what you were writing they'd say well there's some obvious flaws like you're just kind of copying this other thing and you know this part is hard to understand and what about this like this character why did he do this and then to do that like if you're kind of suffering away in obscurity you could you could you could mentally frame that as following that voice inside you and sometimes it is but sometimes it's just procrastination or fear of being seen. 